Hello, my name is Alan, and in this presentation slash speech, I will be talking about how industrialization was after the Civil War. So um, I would say that the main purpose of this speech is to, you know, inform my audience about how the Civil War affected the people in good ways, but also bad ways. And because of these two good and bad ways, it also created problems for the people, but also for the community. <clears throat> So to start off, you know, the Civil War was obviously such a a big and brutal war. And, you know, we all we ask ourselves, how did this affect the people in the community? Since, you know, industrialization was such a big thing that was, you know, that grew automatically right after the Civil War. So, you know, the industrialization that was brought on was petroleum refining, steel manufacturing, electrical power, but the main big thing that was growing more was railroads. So I will be talking about how, you know, like I said, how what the causes and effects were because of, in the, of the industrialization after the Civil War and, you know, how it affected industrial workers, but also farmers. So to start off, the Civil War affected the workers because movements were being created so there were two big movements or i guess you could say groups that created movements such as the national farmers alliance in texas and the colored farmers alliance you know and this caused a lot of racial problems you know between the two movements you know which led at the end to it having no effect there was no achievements or any type of growth between these two groups since you know it was just a lot of fighting and you know them trying to fight for rights for their members but uh main points were national farmers alliance they wanted to improve the com the economy and the colored farmers wanted to educate on how to be good farmers so my second point would be industrialization brought in more jobs, which is a plus, classes as well, but an effect of this was the cost of having some troubles. Excuse me. So, you know, old industries were now being expanded and made into new ones, such as, you know, petroleum, refining, steel manufacturing, but, you know, railroads, as I said. And because of this, there was new classes such as the wealthy and the prosperous and middle classes that were formed. You know, this brought a lot of immigrants to to work. So because of all these immigrants being brought on, it led to unions being formed, you know, also, farmers had trouble because of technology. You know, there was also an increase in technology, you know, and also an increase in production. So this led to uh, uh, prices falling down and leading farmers to uh, move away and find better jobs for themselves. Lastly, I would say, you know, that the industrial workers and, you know, and farmers were able to agree on one thing, which was, you know, their economy being impact, impacted by these new, you know, technologies and this new, you know, type of things being formed, you know. So, um, civil war, it, a big effect was that it did leave, uh, it did lead to farmers being in debt, but also, you know, for the steel workers, they were now known as engineers. They were going to be replacing the traditional artisans, you know. But workers, at the end of the day, workers and the employees, they live two different lives. So the main reason for this was to abolish capitalism. So, I mean, I would say in conclusion, the Civil War did affect people in good and bad ways. But, you know, the pros were new jobs being formed, but the cons was this new industrial and new technology that people weren't used to. So that would say that this was a big cause of the Civil War and how it affected the people.